Looking around here in 12 Hills Nature Center really makes me appreciate just how many birds we have here in Texas. Me too. It's great seeing so many different sizes and shapes, not to mention different lifestyles. Think about how different the life of a city pigeon must be from a duck or a tiny sparrow. That actually makes me curious about something. All of these birds have their own habitats that they prefer, the places that they like to live. Combined with the size differences that you noted, that must mean that bird houses like the one in front of us can only house a few specific types of birds. So what types of birds do you think can use an enclosed birdhouse with these dimensions? We did some research, and here's what we found out. The box resembles a rectangular prism, which is a three-dimensional object that has six faces. They are all rectangles. The rectangular prism has a height of about 10 inches, and a length of six inches, and a depth of five inches. Right, and the hole to get into the rectangular prism is a circle with a diameter of 1.5 inches. The diameter of a circle is a straight line within the circle that passes through the circle center. So first, let's think about the habitat aspect that you mentioned earlier. Not all birds like living in birdhouses. Huh? I didn't know that. Where else do birds nest then? Swallows build large communal nests made from mud stuck under ledges. Some penguins make burrows out of dirt and guano. Ick. That's bird poop, right? Yep. A surprisingly good building material. Weaver birds weave intricate hanging structures. Bald eagles make giant five feet nests and kill deer to scratch the ground a little bit and call it a day. Impressive as they are, I think we can eliminate any of those birds from the list. We're looking for birds that like nesting in enclosed spaces. Exactly. In the area, I think there are five main candidates. The barred owl, the wood duck, the red-bellied woodpecker, the eastern bluebird, and the Carolina chickadee. Well, we can eliminate the owl and the duck right away. There's no way they'd fit through the door. The hole diameter is only 1.5 inches, and they both have wingspans over 29 inches. Even if they tucked their wings in, simply getting their heads through the door would be a struggle way too big. Right. Maybe the woodpecker might be able to squeeze through, but it wouldn't be comfortable. The box itself is only about 10 inches high and 5 inches deep. The woodpecker may have a small profile, but it's over 9 inches long with a 16-inch wingspan. It's not so easy to stretch out in there given its dimensions. Just the eastern bluebird and the Carolina chickadee. Well, which one is it? Well, I just spoke to a staff member and they said that the nest boxes were built for eastern bluebirds. The whole size is just large enough to let them in while keeping potential predators out with plenty of room inside to build a comfy nest. Well, that's that then. Well, not quite. It turns out that bluebirds haven't actually been seen in 12 Hills Nature Center since 2008. They tend to prefer to live in wide open meadows, so it's possible that even though it's a perfect home, nesting here just isn't worth the commute. The Carolina chickadees in the area, though, don't seem to mind and take up residence instead. They're even smaller than the bluebirds, so it's a perfect fit 